Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Monday, March 5th, 2012. We begin with the world of biology. Researchers headed by the University of Illinois have been studying naked mole rats to uncover their secrets. You're probably wondering what secrets a naked mole rat could have. Well, apparently a lot, including how their brain cells survive in low oxygen conditions. In adult human brain cells, a lack of oxygen prevents them from regulating calcium intake, generally resulting in too much calcium killing the cell. However, the mole rats have a mechanism that shuts down calcium intake in low oxygen conditions preventing damage. If the researchers can further study these calcium regulatory channels and apply them to human adults, it would be amazing. But potentially preventing brain damage is apparently the tip of the iceberg for these creatures. Due to their underground existence, they're not only evolved to tolerate low oxygen, but high CO2 and ammonia. They've shown the capacity to suppress pain and even cancer, which is why studying them is so important. Our next story comes from the world of medicine. Scientists in Israel have been experimenting with the protein sirtuin, which has suspected anti-aging properties. These tests were done in a mouse model, and it's the first time a positive result has appeared in such a complex animal. Other kinds of sirtuin have been tested on things like yeast, but also animals like flies and worms, with mixed results. But these recent results with the mice were promising. Mice engineered to overexpress SIRT6 showed a 16% increase in lifespan on average, but only for males. The reason for this isn't known. Actually, the mechanism that these proteins work isn't that well understood. They think this gender disparity is due to the fact that cancer generally affects male mice more. Obviously, much more research is needed to understand the exact mechanism and eventually apply it to humans. Finally, we turn to the world of biotechnology. A team led by Berkeley Lab wants to create biofuels from tobacco. They're just in the planning stages for this project, but are being funded by the Department of Energy's High Risk, High Payoff Division. The reason for this is that the project is pretty radical in that they plan to produce the fuel directly in the plant. How they plan to do this is by borrowing genes from cyanobacteria, specifically genes for producing alkane, which is a type of hydrocarbon. These hydrocarbons could simply be extracted from tobacco leaves and easily broken down into gasoline, diesel, or other fuels. Some of you are probably wondering why tobacco. For one, it's very amenable to genetic engineering. Tobacco was also grown a lot in the U.S. and globally. Plus, its large leaves could potentially store a lot of fuel. Again, this project is just in the planning phase, but they hope to have experimental plants in about 18 months. If it works out, it could drastically change the way we think about and produce biofuel. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.